Hey, I got a. Uh... Uh, Alexis Marshall, she's a reporter for WPLN. It's a local public radio station in Nashville. I got her on the phone. The vote is happening right now. And Alexis, I was hoping you could tell me, is this strictly a party line vote or, or is there a faction of of what used to be called the Eastern Tennessee moderates? Uh, is there a faction of the of Republicans that are uncomfortable with what's happening? It, it looks like it's a party line. They just finished the vote on uh, expelling Justin Jones, and I believe it was about uh, uh, in the realm of about three quarters, uh, which aligns with the uh, the majority that Republicans have in this uh, in this House. Yeah. Is this when when you see that were there any Republicans that voted against the expulsion? Uh, you know, I actually I don't have the the mm -hmm. name by name breakdown. Uh, at this moment, but it, mm -hmm. it seems that it went very party line. Um, as Jones was giving kind of his final uh, defense in the last five minutes of closing statements, some other members of his party uh, came to, to stand up behind him, and there was a lot of uh, about two hours, two and a half hours mm -hmm. of back and forth, uh, almost like a trial right. um, ahead of time. But I, I think the, the final vote was very much along party lines. Alexis, is there a middle ground they could have chosen? You know, in the U.S. Congress, there's censure, right? It's uh, short of expulsion. You know, it's basically this is going on your permanent record type of thing. Uh, is, does the Tennessee House have something like that? Uh, well, even before today, uh, all three of the members who got in trouble for, for protesting on the House floor um, had had their badges deactivated. They couldn't access the building or the garages, uh, and they had also been stripped of their committee assignments. So those steps were taken um, but before any mm -hmm. action happened, like by vote of the House, um, there's now been a, a motion to adjourn. I'm watching the live, the, this right. live right now, and uh, it seems like folks in the in the gallery have have uh, really caused an uproar I, I think they might be going so they're only going to end up expelling if adjourning. they do go to recess that means they only get they'll only have finished one expulsion uh, so far I doubt that they would put off the the other two but I, I also don't know I'm not the speaker no um, I get that <laughs> but yeah <laughs> but listen, you're in the middle of covering a story that's that's happening in real time I appreciate you giving me a minute or two here uh, I'll let you hang up and go finish reporting. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, Alexis. Uh, Sarah Fagan, I, I do, I just, it just feels, it's one of those, you're like, really? I, it, what was that old SNL skit? It's like you go, really? yeah, it's yeah. Like you go from zero to 60. Yeah. Like there's no, there's no image. Nobody knows there. how to retreat, and I do think, Mo brought it up. Like, and if we're ever going to depolarize, somebody has to go, yeah, okay. We've gone too far, too. Right. Well, this will, I mean, the Republicans have strong majorities. So, yeah. but, but in other states where they don't, where the blues have majorities, like what happens next? Do we start expelling Republicans because mm -hmm. we don't like, and like I realized there were some, some rules violated. And, and so something was probably appropriate, a censure or some other middle ground. Right. But kicking someone from office, like there's, to me, I l watch this and I wonder if it's constitutional. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.